Although we're sort of trying to improve treatments, 40% of women will still need a mastectomy as a surgical treatment for their breast cancer. And in the UK, breast reconstruction is routinely offered as a means of achieving symmetry for these women. But not all women want reconstruction and not all women are suitable for, re for reconstruction. But most women do want to be symmetrical, whether that's symmetrical in clothes, in which case a prosthesis is fine. But many women want to be symmetrical out of clothes and find that having one breast and a prosthesis is actually very difficult or awkward. And in the UK, there are no guidelines um, for to allow women to have a contralateral or a balancing mastectomy for symmetry. So you're very much supported and allowed to have a reconstruction, but you're not you're not supported and allowed in the same way to have a mastectomy to be to be symmetrical. So I'm leading a program of research called the Flame Study, which is looking at how we can improve equality of access to women who choose to be bilaterally flat to have flat symmetry as their way of moving forward. So one of the f the first part of this research was to do a systematic review to actually look at the clinical and patient reported outcomes of women opting to be bilaterally flat after a unilateral mastectomy for breast cancer. So we did a systematic review. We identified a number of papers. Most of these were looking at complication rates, which basically showed that, yes, the complication rates of having two mastectomies were slightly higher than having just one mastectomy, but the complication rates were significantly lower than having reconstruction. And although um, decisional regret is one of the key reasons that surgeons cite for not offering women a balancing mastectomy, this, the studies included in the review suggested that actually women were really satisfied with their decision. Yes, they had issues with body image and there were other things, but they were very satisfied with the decision that they made. And actually it was the surgeon's attitudes and surgeon's um, they called it flat denial, so that surgeons didn't appreciate that being bilaterally flat was an option. And that um, had a negative impact on women's experiences. So although the, the studies included in the review were very heterogeneous and uh, were quite difficult to, to compare, they did clearly show that women don't regret their decisions. Complication rates are acceptable. And actually, this is a really good um, step forward um, in helping us develop a pathway to support these women to move forward in the way that they want to, re to move forward, which is, uh, which is sometimes to be flat.